so much to learn about. It'll make you wanna shout, Blippi! Everybody, take ten steps back. We're gonna launch in three, two, woo! that paint can shoot up like a rocket? Yeah! Whoa! Hi, I'm Blippi. Hi. What's your name? I'm Emily Calandrelli. Nice to meet you. Well, it's so nice to meet you, Emily. <laughs> that was an amazing experiment you did. Right? Do you think you could teach us how to do it? I would love to. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> well, wait a minute. Emily, how do you know how to do a science experiment like that? I'm an aerospace engineer. Whoa! An aerospace engineer? I know engineers build bridges and roads, but what does an aerospace engineer do? Well, aerospace means I studied how things fly through the air. Like an airplane? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and like that paint can. Mm -hmm. And fly through space. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Well, I definitely want to try this experiment. <laughs> Let's go! Flippy, are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready too? <laughs> yeah, awesome! Okay, well, what do we need to do the experiment? We are going to need baking soda. Oh, okay, some baking soda. Mm -hmm. And? Some vinegar. Whoa! Ooh, ooh. <laughs> That's kind of smelly. <laughs> Whoa! And a paint can? And a paint can, that's okay. right. Whoa! Wait a minute, well, why will we need vinegar and baking soda to do this experiment? Well, baking soda is our base, vinegar is our acid. When we mix the two together, you kickstart an acid-based chemical reaction that creates carbon dioxide bubbles. Bubbles? Yeah! <laughs> Wait, and then the bubbles build up pressure so it launches the paint can like a rocket! Woo! Exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay, well, I think we're ready to start the experiment. What's the first step? Okay, so first you're going to want to put your baking soda in the paint can. Just pour it all in. Okay, here, can you help me? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> here we go! Woohoo! It's snowing! <laughs> snowing in the paint can. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> it's a little messy doing Wait. science experiments. <laughs> okay, now you want to put your vinegar in this cup very carefully. Oh, and then we put the cup inside. Exactly. Mm, okay, yes. Here we go. Don't want to spill any on the baking soda before it goes in. <laughs> yes, be very careful. We don't want to kickstart the acid-based chemical reaction too soon. So just softly nestle it into the baking soda, just like that, exactly, exactly. Whoa. <laughs> yes. Looks pretty steady. Perfect. Now for the fun part. Okay. <laughs> We're going to hammer on the lid. Oh, that's why you were hammering before. <laughs> exactly. Okay, here we go. Is this okay? Yep, perfect. And Emily, you want to hammer some? Absolutely. You need to put a little bit of oomph behind it. Whoa, Whoa that's some oomph. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think it's ready. Yeah! Okay, and now we just flip it over. Exactly. Okay, everyone, take 10 steps back. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> Do you want to see what was going on inside the paint can? Oh, that would be awesome! <laughs> yeah, we saw it launched like a rocket, but I want to see those carbon dioxide bubbles. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> okay. okay, so what do we need to do? We can make them right here. So we have vinegar, that's our acid, and we have baking soda, that's our base. Mm. So what we're going to do is add our food coloring first because everything is more fun in color. Whoa. We'll give you blue. And you have orange. I have orange. <laughs> yeah. Huh, I wonder why we're using those two colors. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they might be your favorite. Yeah. So go ahead and add a few drops just like that. And Whoa. let's stir it in. Okay. Give it a good stir. Now in one of these, <laughs> I'm going to add some soap. My hypothesis is that the soap is going to trap those carbon dioxide bubbles and make this one a bit more frothy and soapy. Whoa. Hey. Have you heard the word hypothesis before? Yeah, it's a really long word for basically a guess. <laughs> and Emily, I think you made a really good guess. <laughs> I think so. Let's test it out though. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa! 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 Check it out! Look, do you see 
see how mine looks a little bit more frothy? Oh. That's the soap trapping those carbon dioxide bubbles. Yeah, it looks like yours has a lot of teeny bubbles and I have really big bubbles. <laughs> exactly. Oh, that's cool. And Emily, we used this experiment using cups. Mm -hmm. Could we use a different container? Absolutely, we could. Oh, what about that water bottle? This <laughs> would be Perfect. Huh. I wonder how the bubbles will shoot out of that. <laughs> I know. My hypothesis is, is because this one is going from a large area to a small area, it's going to shoot up faster and maybe go a little higher. Hmm. Another good guess. We got to test it. <laughs> oh, and what color should we make this? Well, my favorite color is pink. Ooh. Can we make it pink? Yeah, let's make it pink. <laughs> okay. oh. One, two, three. There we go. Stir that in. Whoa. It's like a pinky red color. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's gonna be some fun bubbles. Okay, <laughs> so now we're going to pour it in and let's see what happens. Let's <laughs> test that hypothesis. Okay, get ready. These are gonna be some big bubbles. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Your it hypothesis did. was right. It shot up higher, didn't yeah. it? That was great. Whoa, that was really cool. Bubble launch! Woo! Now it looks so pink. Look at that. Whoa. Yeah, we have some pink, and we have some orange, and some blue. Woo, look, Emily. We have a fun little elephant in some blue water just taking a bubble bath. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. We tried a cup and a water bottle. What if we try something a little bit silly? Okay, <laughs> what did you have in mind? An orange! <laughs> Let's try it. Yeah, I love the color orange, and I love eating the fruit and orange. <laughs> okay, so we have an orange, Ooh, and there's some baking soda inside, and here's some vinegar for okay, you. Okay, thank you. And this one, I wanna be extra silly, so let's make the vinegar green. Ooh, I like it, we haven't done green yet. Whoa! <laughs> Perfect, I'm gonna stir that up. All right, let's see what this one looks like. Okay. I I'm, don't know what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna try to hold it. My hypothesis is that this is gonna be messy. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Whoa! 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 It's so fizzy! <laughs> Whoa, Emily, that was awesome! That was great! Whoa, yeah! Look at that! So many bubbles, those carbon dioxide bubbles went everywhere! Well, that's a great acid base chemical reaction mm -hmm. right there. <laughs> well, this was some fun experimenting. Mm -hmm. Do you think we could do another one? I think so. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go clean up my hand. <laughs> Flippy, are you ready for the next experiment? Mm -hmm. I'm really excited, but I think we should take a little break first. And look, a swing set. <laughs> Let's on. go. Woo. <laughs> Whoa, I just love swinging. <laughs> uh, but Emily, yeah. is there something scientific about swinging? Oh my gosh, yes, there's science all around us. With Whoa. swings, gravity is bringing us back down and our legs are giving us momentum to bring Ooh. us back up. <laughs> yeah, and my legs are really strong from dancing so I can go really high on the swing! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Whoa, good thing we have gravity to bring me back down <laughs> or else I might fly all the way to the moon. Ooh, that would be fun. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. <laughs> Astronaut Flippy, here I come! Woohoo! <laughs> oh! Oh, Emily, I have an idea. Follow me! <laughs> okay. Here we go. so much fun taking a break. But Emily, I'm ready for another experiment. All right, we are going to make oobleck. Oobleck, fun. Yes. Oobleck is a non-Newtonian fluid and all you need for this, you can make this at home, is two parts cornstarch to one part water. Ooh. So let's go ahead and mix those in. Wow. Put your cornstarch in here. Okay. Go ahead. Cornstarch. Just like so. Good, <laughs> oh, good. It's snowing. <laughs> Whoa. Now, Add your water. Okay. Just like that. And you're gonna wanna just get your hands in here. <laughs> Whoa, 
this was really fun mixing it up with your hands. And you said it was a non-Newtonian fluid? Yes, Whoa. so a non-Newtonian fluid is just a special name for a fluid that doesn't follow the normal fluid rules. Oh uh, yeah, so a normal solid has its own shape and a normal liquid or a fluid takes the shape of whatever container it's in. So if you have water in a cup, the water is shaped like the cup. <laughs> exactly, but oobleck, because it's a non-Newtonian fluid, sometimes acts like a liquid, but it sometimes acts like a solid, <laughs> depending on what we do to it. Oh, whoa, so are there other kinds of non-Newtonian liquids? Exactly, so one you might be familiar with is ketchup. Ketchup, yum! <laughs> I love that on my french fries. <laughs> <laughs> and when you're trying to get ketchup out of the bottle, what do you usually do? Mm, you normally need to tap the end of it a little bit. <laughs> exactly, because ketchup, when you hit it, when you add force to it, it acts more like a liquid. Oh! <laughs> and when you don't hit it, when you're not doing anything, to it, it acts mm -hmm. more like a solid and it's harder to get out of that glass bottle. Whoa, that's so interesting how it can be a solid sometimes or a liquid sometimes. Exactly, just <laughs> like Ublek. So watch this, when you squeeze it together, squeeze, 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 it acts like a ball. Whoa. But watch this, as soon as I stop squeezing it, it acts like a liquid flowing through my fingers. Whoa, it melts! <laughs> that's so cool! Whoa, and why is it called a non-Newtonian fluid? Yeah, That's a long name. <laughs> that is a long name. So Isaac Newton was a physicist and a mathematician, and Whoa. he set up some rules for fluids, and this doesn't really follow them. Mm -mm. It likes to break the rules. <laughs> yeah, and I've heard of Isaac Newton. That's so cool that he named this fluid. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, oh, I have an idea. How about you make a little ball again, and I think our friend Mr. Elephant wants to play in the Oobleck. <laughs> Here we go! Woo! Uh oh! Whoa. He's getting stuck! <laughs> well, that's okay. Yeah, if he just moves around a lot, he doesn't get stuck. See? He's exactly. just walking in over the oobleck. <laughs> if he stomps on the oobleck, he can stay on top. Look! Stomp, stomp, stomp! Stomp, stomp, stomp! <laughs> yeah, but if he's not stomping, he'll sink like water. Here we go! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Black. <laughs> well, it looks like Mr. Elephant needs to go take another bubble bath. <laughs> Woo. Emily, this ooh like is super fun. Woo <laughs> <laughs> okay, Blippi, now that you know how Oobleck works, I have a surprise for you. You have a surprise for me? Well, yep. where is it? Go ahead and slide down that slide. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> See you at the bottom. Woo! <laughs> Black, this is ooh, Blippy. <laughs> Blippy, that's a corny joke. A corn starchy joke. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> I had so much fun today, and it's so cool learning about non Newtonian fluids how they can be liquids, woo, or <laughs> solids. <laughs> oh, Emily, I had so much fun doing science experiments. Would you like a really big hug? Mm, maybe later, Blippi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> I get that. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with us? Okay, here we go. Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. <laughs> Blippi, good job. Well, I'll see you later. I need to get out of this oobleck. Woo! Whoa! 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 Ah! Ah! <laughs> Whoa! Yes! <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy, and look at where I'm at today. Today, I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. Have you ever been to a zoo? Yeah, they're so great. You can see big animals, small animals, even insects if you want. Yeah, I am so excited. Let's go! in the back of the habitat. This is so cool. Whoa, look at this. Ooh, looks like some animal snacks. Yum. <laughs> okay, I'll put that down right there. 
Wow, and this is this animal's real food. Yeah, this is what they eat on the daily. Hey, check it out. See this right here? Yeah, you just put some powder in right there, swirl it around, and this is what this animal loves to eat every day. Okay, let me put this back right here. But hey, did you see what we saw right here? Whoa, looks like a feather. This must come from the animal that's in this habitat. Hmm, yeah, feather. Birds have feathers. And do you see? It's the color pink. Whoa, do you know what animal, bird, is the color pink? Yeah, flamingos. Okay, let me set this down right here. <laughs> and then let's grab the snacks and let's go see if we can find the flamingos. Oh, hey, it's John. Hey. Oh, hi, Blippi. How are you? Good. Welcome to our flamingo exhibit. Thank you. What are you doing? I'm um, just raking up the feathers. Oh. And these are our flamingos. Oh, do you see the flamingos? Wow. Do you mind if I get a closer look at them? No, go ahead. All right. Whoa. Hey, let's take a closer look at the flamingos. Oh, hello, flamingos. Hey. Wow. These flamingos are so pretty. Whoa, did you know that when flamingos are born, they're the color white? Yeah, gray, yeah, whitish gray. And then when they get older, they turn the color pink because the food that they eat has a lot of pink in it. Whoa, that is so cool. And you see how tall their legs are? Whoa, they're so long. An adult flamingo, the legs are taller then the whole rest of the body. Wow, that is so crazy. Hey, and do you see how their legs are bending backwards? Yeah, us humans, our legs bend forward. But then, flamingos, their legs bend backwards. And you're probably like, whoa, those are some flexible knees. <laughs> but hey, let me tell you a really cool fact. Do you see that little area right in the center of their legs. Yeah, it looks like their knee. That is actually the flamingo's ankle. Whoa, that's crazy. Well, hey, I think we should throw some of these snacks in the water and see if the flamingos come. Okay. <laughs> All right, here you go. It's the Animal Ambassador Show! Woohoo! Another great animal! This place is awesome! Hey, what's your name? I'm Susie. Oh, nice to meet you. And who is this? This is Harry. And Harry is a striped skunk. Wow, striped skunk? Yeah, I see black and white. Why are they striped like that? Well, those stripes allow them to alert any predators in the area that he is a skunk, and if they've been around a skunk before, they definitely would not want to get sprayed again. Oh, yeah. Wait, you said spray. Is that the smell that you sometimes smell when you're driving? You've got it, yeah. It's a really strong smell, and you can't mistake it if you've smelled it before, and you definitely can't mistake it if you've been sprayed. <laughs> yeah, so why do they spray again? It's their way of defending themselves. So if a skunk feels threatened, the first thing that Harry might do is do some forward charges or some handstands. And that says, hey, don't mess with me. More bad things are coming. And if the animal proceeds to come forward, they might get sprayed. Oh, so it sounds like Harry's a gym gymnast with its handstands. <laughs> That's funny. What's Harry eating? Today he is eating insects. He loves bugs, he loves vegetables, fruit. He even eats meat too. Wow, Harry is so cool. I love skunks. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> Another cute animal. Whoa, this is Eduardo. Hello, Eduardo. Whoa, Eduardo is a three banded armadillo. Whoa, and it looks like He's eating some insects. Those look so yummy for him. <laughs> I actually got permission to go inside, but he's actually probably gonna think my shoes are really cool because they smell 
So, let me go inside and see if he is curious. Hello? Hey, how are you? Whoa, do you see him? Whoa, he has a very hard shell. Yeah, three banded armadillos are ones that can go all the way in a ball. But he's not doing that right now because that is a defensive mechanism. Yeah, he's actually really comfortable right now. <laughs> hey, do you see how he's just sniffing around? Oh, he is so cute. And his fingernails are so long, or toenails. And he has some cute little hairs coming out the bottom. <laughs> Whoa, look at him go. Whoa, check it out. Look, this is a hawk. But wait a second, who are you? My name is Lindsay. I am an ambassador animal keeper. Wow, what, what's the name of this hawk? This is Cisco. He is a 32-year-old Harris's hawk. Wow, Cisco is so pretty. Wow, I love the wings. Does it have big wings or thin or small? Or? He has big, broad wings that are good for soaring, but not very good for diving fast. Oh, wow. Do they live together or alone? Harris's hawks are very special because they live in family groups with other hawks. Most birds of prey live by themselves. Oh, wow. And I like Cisco's eyes. What's unique about them? Harris's hawks and other birds of prey have really great eyesight. That is so cool. And I like its beak. Look at it. It's like, looks so sharp. Can I take a closer look at it? Sure. Whoa. Check out Cisco. Wow. Whoa, so majestic. Wow. Hey, Cisco. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow, another amazing animal. Whoa, this is a burrowing owl. Whoa, what's his name? This is Papu. Oh, nice to meet you, Papu. I'm Flippy. Do you see Papu's eyes? They're so big and yellow. Wow, does that mean they can see good? Owls have excellent eyesight. Wow. And Papu is so small. Is it a little baby? No, Papu is full grown. Whoa. Is it like other owls where they go out at night and look for food? So other owls are nocturnal, which means they're awake at night. But Papu is diurnal. He's awake during the day. Whoa. That is so cool. Papu is so cute. Wow, I just want to pet him. He's so cute, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> Can I take a closer look? Sure. Wow, check it out. This is Anahi. Yeah, she is so pretty. Wow. Do you see her tongue poking out? Yeah, she pushes her tongue out of her mouth every now and then to smell. Isn't that crazy? We use our nose to smell, but she uses her tongue to smell. Yeah, and she is a red tail boa constrictor. Whoa, look at her just wrapped up in a tree like this, all comfortable. Whoa, hello. <laughs> wow. I hope she is having a great day. Whoa, she is so big. Right now, she is about seven feet tall. Yeah, that's about 2.3 meters long. Whoa, but she actually gets a lot bigger. She'll even get bigger than this. Whoa, yeah. She can get about 12 feet tall. That's about four meters long. Whoa, that is so... Cool! <laughs> wow! Check it out! This is Blue, and Blue is a blue-tongued skink! <laughs> she looks like a snake, doesn't she? Yeah, a snake with legs! <laughs> but she's not. She's actually a lizard! Wow! She is so cool-looking! Whoa, do you see her tongue? Yeah, it's the color blue! 
that makes sense. I bet predators think that that tongue could be poisonous. Yeah! Whoa, and do you see her ears? Wow, I bet she can hear really good. <laughs> Whoa, jeez, how are you? Are you having a good day? <laughs> Whoa. Wow, look, this is Tut and this is Cairo. Whoa, look at them, hey! They are Egyptian tortoises. Yeah, when I hear tortoise, I think of a big turtle. But these are actually full size. Whoa, where are you two going? I wonder if they're hungry. <laughs> they actually live in the desert. Yeah, whoa, that makes sense. Because Egyptian tortoises. Whoa, look, they're following each other. Whoa, that looks fun. <laughs> Did you see that? That was a cute penguin! Whoa! Hasn't this been so much fun at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington today? Yeah! I had a lot of fun seeing all these great animals. Hey, what's your favorite animal? Whoa! What a great animal! Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi, good job. All right, see you again, bye-bye. So much to learn about, it'll make you wanna shout, Blippi. It's me, Blippi! And today, we're here at Easter Seals, Southern California. And we get to visit one of their therapy centers. <laughs> I am so excited! Come on! <laughs> Whoa, check it out! <laughs> this room is awesome! Look! <laughs> Looks like there's so many fun things to play on. <laughs> this is a basketball hoop. Whoa, check it out! There's the hoop. <laughs> The backboard. <laughs> and the net. Ooh. And we want to try to get this ball in the net. Okay, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> uh oh, we missed. <laughs> Ooh. But that's okay. If you try something the first time and you miss, that's okay. You do it again, and again, and again. <laughs> That's called practice. And if you do lots of practice, then you're sure to get better. And I want to get better at basketball. Woohoo! Uh-oh, we missed again. But I have a really good idea. Slam dunk! Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I wonder if there's anybody else around here that I could play with. Hmm. hmm. You know, a good way to make friends is to introduce yourself. Hello, it's me, Blippi. <laughs> and then just ask them to play. Would you like to play with me? <laughs> See, it's that easy. And now you and I are best friends. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Check out this slide! <laughs> okay, here we go! Three, two, one! Woo! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Hey, do you hear that? Huh, what's that noise? Oh, <laughs> hey, check it out! <laughs> Hello, hi! Whoa, hello there. <laughs> wow, do you see it? It's a real life robot. <laughs> Hi, I'm Blippi. What's your name? Hi, my name is Hans. Whoa, did you hear that? <laughs> Hi, Hans. It's so nice to meet you. Ooh. Hey, maybe we can ask Hans a question. 
Hans, would you like to be our friend? <laughs> hey, did you see that? Hans did a little dance. <laughs> that means he's happy. And it must mean yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whoa. Well, Hans, now that we're friends, what should we do together? Over there, please. <laughs> Whoa. Did you see that? Yeah. Hans put out his hand and he motioned for us to go with him. Hmm. <laughs> I bet Hans has somewhere fun to take us. <laughs> was pointing at the table. <laughs> it looks like there are some healthy snacks over there. <laughs> Hans, did you set those out for me to eat? Yes, Blippi. Ah, <laughs> that is so nice of you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, did you hear that? I said thank you. Do you use words like please and thank you too? <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> it's really important when someone does something for you to say thank you because you appreciate it, <laughs> and you appreciate them. Ah, thank you, Hans, that was so nice. <laughs> Hans, would you like to go sit over at the table? Yes. <laughs> Where would you like to sit? Over there, please. Ah, okay, <laughs> here we go. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa, did you hear that? Hans said the words, please. <laughs> when I asked him to come over to the table, and he also said thank you, <laughs> because he appreciated what I did. <laughs> Aw, you are so nice. <laughs> and this food looks so tasty. <gasps> Whoa, look at it. <laughs> Yellow bananas. <laughs> oh, tomatoes and broccoli. Oh, I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> but first, I need to make sure my hands are clean. We need to wash our hands. Okay, I'll be right back, Hans. <laughs> yeah, it's always good to make sure your hands are squeaky clean. <laughs> but Hans, he doesn't need to wash his hands. He's a robot. <laughs> oh, check it out. <laughs> this is a sink where we can wash our hands. Ooh, and look, it's all the steps to properly wash them. <laughs> Step number one says, water on. Okay, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, step number two, hands wet. Okay, <laughs> Woo. Woo. Now that my hands are wet, we can go to step number three, rub hands with soap and because we want squeaky clean hands, we want to make sure we rub our hands with soap for longer than 10 seconds. Ooh, okay, <laughs> here we go. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and whoa, <laughs> 10. <laughs> whoa, and because we don't want soapy hands. <laughs> we want to rinse them off. Okay. Next, we turn off the water. You don't want to waste water. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, we dry off our wet hands. <laughs> Now that our hands are clean, we can eat a delicious and healthy snack. <laughs> okay, here we go. Whoa, look at all the amazing snacks here. <laughs> we have yellow bananas. Hmm, I wonder how these taste. Oh, look, <laughs> it looks like I'm smiling. <laughs> Ooh. And Hmm, we have some other yummy vegetables here. <laughs> but let's start with the bananas. Okay, time to peel the banana. <laughs> Whoa, 
Check it out. Look how cool it is when the banana is peeled. Yeah. <laughs> and it tastes sweet. Mm -hmm. And this banana is soft. Soft and sweet. <laughs> Ooh, I like the taste of that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Whoa. Let's try some tomatoes. Woo. 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 <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I wonder what these tomatoes will taste like. Whoa! Those tomatoes have so much flavor! <laughs> They're kind of salty, and they certainly are juicy! Mm. <laughs> yeah, they have a very interesting taste. Whoa, and look! <laughs> they kind of look like little bouncy balls. Boing, 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 boing! Bounce, bounce, bounce. <laughs> Whoa! Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Those are fun to eat. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's a little tree. It's a little forest of trees. Whoa, hello trees. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. These aren't trees. They just look like trees. These are broccoli. Hello, broccoli. <laughs> hello. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that broccoli is so crunchy. Oh, <laughs> and look, some green celery. Hmm, I wonder how this will taste. Whoa, the banana was really soft, but this celery, hmm, it wasn't very soft. It was definitely crunchy. Oh, and kind of tastes a little sweet. <laughs> mm. I like that celery. <laughs> mm. Whoa, and check it out. It's an orange carrot. Mm. <laughs> orange carrots are so cool looking. Do you know why they're so cool looking? Because it's orange. <laughs> One of my two favorite colors. Okay, here we go. Yum, <laughs> that is so tasty. Yeah. The orange carrot is sweet and crunchy. Whoa. <laughs> wow, Hans, these were some really good snacks to pick out for me. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Hans, can we play together? <laughs> did you see that? Hans did a little dance. Sounds like he wants to play together. Well, do you know of any place that we can go and play? Check it out! <laughs> he moved his arm in this motion. Yeah, that means he wants us to go with him. Okay, <laughs> let's go! <laughs> let's go play. <laughs> Whoa, this place is amazing! <laughs> Look, there's a slide, a rock climbing wall, and a really cool swing. <laughs> Hans, do you want to ride the swing? Yes, please. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here you go, Hans. Ooh, check out this swing. <laughs> Whoa, there you go. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> Hans and I are riding the swing. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, this is fun. <laughs> this is fun. Hi, Hans. Hi, Blippi. Oh, hi, what's your name? My name is Michelle. I'm a speech therapist here at Easter Seals. Oh, it's very nice to meet you, Michelle. <laughs> nice to meet you too. And you said you're a speech therapist? Oh, well, what does a speech therapist do? We help kids learn to talk, play, and just learn new things. Oh, <laughs> whoa! Well, I love playing and learning new things. <laughs> and so does Hans. We've been having so much fun playing together today. <laughs> I'm glad you're having fun. In this room, we help kids learn to move in new ways. We play games and practice things like taking turns. Whoa, games are so fun. Hey, maybe we should all play a game together. But what game should we play? Hide and seek. Whoa, great idea, Hans. <laughs> Let's play hide and seek. But we need to remember to take turns. So who should go first? Hans would like to go first. <laughs> okay, Hans will go first and count to 10. Michelle and I are gonna hide. 
<laughs> okay, we're ready to play. <laughs> okay, Hans, you count to 10, and Michelle and I are gonna go hide. <laughs> See if you can find us. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. There you are. Hans, you found me! Hooray! I know you're around here somewhere, Blippi. I see you, Blippi. You found me! <laughs> oh, I have an idea. Now, I'll count to 10 and you and Michelle hide. <laughs> okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna count to 10. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> I found you! <laughs> you found me. Good job. <laughs> that was so fun! <laughs> Whoa! That game of hide and seek was so fun! It was! <laughs> oh, well, thanks for playing with us, Hans. Thanks for playing with us, Michelle. <laughs> yes, it was so nice to meet you today, Blippi. Oh. Bye! Bye! Bye, Hans! <laughs> bye bye. It was nice to meet you! <laughs> Whoa! That was awesome! <laughs> oh, and Hans, do we have time for another activity? What is it? Hans likes to shake his tail. Whoa, me too! Let's have a dance party! <laughs> Let's go! Hans loves the blippy dance. <laughs> Let's dance! <laughs> Do the blippy dance all day long. Move your feet to the blippy song. Do the blippy dance, follow my Shake, shake, shake to this blippy tune. Get ready, clap your hands, shake it out. Feel the beat, do a dance, and sing it loud. Get ready, clap your hands, shake it out. Feel the beat, do a dance, and sing it loud. Do the blippy dance all day long. Move your feet to the blippy song. Do the blippy dance, follow my your hands to the sky now back down low do the blippy dance wherever you go do the blippy dance all day long move your feet do the blippy song do the blippy dance follow my lead do the blippy dance do it with me get ready clap your hands shake it out feel the beat some awesome dancing, Hans. I had so much fun with you today. <laughs> Thanks for being my friend, Blippi. Aw, thank you for being my friend, Hans. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, <laughs> Blippi. 
<laughs> wow, that was so much fun. <laughs> and we got to make some new friends. Hans the Robot <laughs> and Michelle. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? OK. B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. <laughs> Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. And look at where I'm at today, Hawaii Volcanoes National Park on the big island of Hawaii. And this place is awesome because of volcanoes. Today, you and I are gonna learn about volcanoes. Yeah, maybe we'll find out what it looks like after it erupts, or maybe some lava tubes, Ooh, and maybe some steam. All right, are you ready to learn and have some fun? Me too, let's go. Wow. This place is so cool! And I even have a map. But it's kind of confusing on where I'm at. I'm trying to find all those cool things like the lava tubes and the volcano. <laughs> Aloha, Blippi. Oh! Are you lost? Do you need help finding anything? Hey! Whoa! Are you a park ranger? I am a park ranger here. My name's Ranger Aaron. Wow! And yeah, to answer your question, I am lost. I was actually trying to find the lava tubes. Ooh, well, you're in luck. We have Nahuku Lava Tube right down this trail. Do you want to go see it? Yeah, will you show me? Yeah, let's go together. All right. Whoa, great. <laughs> Ranger Aaron, this place is beautiful. I know. I love this hike over here. I would call this a rainforest. We do have areas of rainforest here at Kilauea Volcano. Really? How did the eruption not get rid of all these plants? Well, the thing is, during many volcanic eruptions here, the lava doesn't cover the whole forest. It sometimes, it'll flow around areas and leave a little pocket of forest. We call these kipukas. Kipuka. That's right. These are really important, actually, because kipukas serve as seed banks. Seed banks? What are those? It means they're areas where all of the seeds from our native plants can be saved. And then after an eruption, the wind might blow them, birds might pick them up and drop them on the new lava, and new plants can start to grow. These plants make it possible for the rest of the forest to come back to that area. And eventually, you may not even know there was ever a lava flow there. Wow, that is really cool. But since there's a lot of poisonous gases in the air when volcanoes erupt, how do these plants survive? Well, a lot of our plants here on this island, they had to adapt to survive a volcano such as our Ohia Lehua tree. Look at these giant trees above us. Wow, they these, are big. <laughs> these trees are very important in Hawaiian culture, and they also have some superpowers to help them survive a volcanic eruption. Superpowers? I love superpowers. What do you mean? Well, the Ohia Lehua tree can actually hold its breath during a volcanic eruption for up to two weeks. Oh, that's a long time! Mm -hmm. This is really cool! Can we keep exploring? Yeah, let's go see the lava tube. Oh, cool, let's go! <laughs> wow, what's this? This is the Nahuku lava tube. Lava tube? What does that mean? Well, that means this is a tunnel where lava used to be flowing during an eruption. But sometimes at the end of the eruption, the lava will flow out and leave this empty tunnel behind. And this one we can actually walk through. Oh, cool. That sounds really exciting. Can we walk through it right now? Yeah, let's go. All right. <laughs> you lead the way. All right. <laughs> oh, pretty dark wow. in here. Yeah, don't worry. There are some lights. All right. <laughs> Whoa, cool. So we have to imagine this is where the lava used to be flowing through many, many years ago. Oh, wow. Well, this is really cool. Oh, and it's getting pretty dark in here. I know. Good thing we've got a few lights to help us see the way. Oh, yeah. Smart. Whoa, cool. Do you mind if I touch the wall? Oh, please don't. This is actually a very unique ecosystem in our park. There are some insects that live here that don't live anywhere else. And if we touch the walls, we could disturb this ecosystem. Okay, if you're ever in a lava tube, don't touch the walls. Whoa! And it's really cool how there's special insects that just live in here. But hey, what's that sound? 
Yeah, the dripping? Is it raining in here? Actually, volcanic rock is very porous. That means there's lots of little holes and cracks in it. So when it rains, the water can filter down through the rock and eventually it can drip right on top of us. Oh, cool. Well, I guess we'll continue, but we'll try and not get wet. <laughs> right, we should have brought an umbrella. Yeah. Wow, that was really cool. I know, this is one of my favorite places in our national park. Yeah, and you're so smart knowing about those insects and also how the water drops through the rock. Well, they're important facts to know to understand how special our volcano is. Yeah, it is very special. Hey, and speaking of volcano, do you mind if we go check it out? Yeah, do you want to go see Hale Mauma'u Crater? Oh, I would love to. That sounds like fun. All right, let's go see our volcano. All right. <laughs> wow, cool, a volcano. That's right. This is a very special place at the National Park. So whenever I bring students up here, I remind them to keep quiet voices oh. so that we can be respectful so that everybody can enjoy this part of the National Park. Wow, and why is it so sacred up here? Well, this is known as a vahipana. In Hawaiian, that means a sacred place. In Hawaiian culture, many people believe that this crater, Hale Mauma'u Crater, is the home of Pele Honuamea. Pele is the fire goddess and the goddess of volcanoes, and many people believe that the Hawaiian islands would not be here without Pele. So that's why this is such a sacred and special area in the park. Wow, this is a special place and it's so peaceful. But wait a second, what is a volcano? Well, a volcano is a geologic feature where underneath the Earth's crust, magma chambers can form. Magma is molten rock. So these pockets of molten rock start building up pressure. And eventually, they can build up enough pressure that they actually break through the Earth's crust and lava can erupt out of the Earth's crust. Wow, cool. So does this volcano erupt a bunch of lava? It does. Actually, this volcano is erupting right now. Wait, right now? Why is it not just exploding in air? Well, the Hawaiian volcanoes don't usually have explosive eruptions. The Hawaiian volcanoes have what we call effusive eruptions. So the lava can bubble out and flow, and they also sometimes erupt out of rift zones in the side of the volcano. Oh, that makes sense. So is that the lava down there? Well, that is the lava down there. Once lava cools and turns into rock, it turns black. So we're looking at the cooled lava lake right now. Wow, and when did this eruption start? This current eruption started in September of 2021. Oh, and what did it look like before that time? Well, there was actually a really big change in our volcano before the last big eruption. Before that really big eruption, our volcano, the caldera, was more flat. And Hale Mauma'u Crater was very small. It would have just been right over there. But what happened during that eruption? We had that magma chamber underneath the Earth and it started to empty because it was erupting out of the side of the volcano. Okay. So eventually all of the lava, all of the magma got out of that chamber and it was just empty. And when it was hollow and empty like that, it couldn't hold the weight of the volcano. So it actually collapsed. Wow. And that's what we can see here. This crater got much, much bigger during that eruption. Wow, that's really cool. So is this the only volcano that you folks have here? Flippy, guess how many volcanoes you can see right now? Um, one? The answer is actually three. We have five volcanoes on our island total, and we can see three of them right here. Do you want to go see the others? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. Whoa, so that's the other volcano we can see? Right, that is one of the other volcanoes we can see from right here. That's called Mauna Kea. And one interesting fact is Mauna Kea is so tall, in the wintertime, it can actually get snow. Wait, snow in Hawaii? That's right, I used to teach second grade, and my second graders could go to the top of Mauna Kea, sled down a hill with snow on it, and then go to the beach in the same day. <laughs> wow, that sounds like so much fun. I would love to live here. I love sledding and the beach. <laughs> oh, wait, so you said there's another volcano? All I see is hills. Well, actually, we are going to see 
Mauna Loa Volcano. And this is a really great example of why they're called shield volcanoes. You see this big hill behind us? Yeah. That is all Mauna Loa. That is all the volcano. Wow. Even though it doesn't look like this, it looks like this, a shield volcano. It's still a volcano. That's right, like a superhero shield laid on its side. <laughs> cool. Wow, do you have any other fun things to see today? Do you want to see some steam vents with steam coming out of the earth? Yeah, I'd love to. All right, let's go see those last. All right. <laughs> Wow, this place is awesome. Yeah. Park Ranger Aaron, what is this? This is a steam vent. Oh, a steam vent? What's that? Well, do you remember when we walked through the lava tube, we felt all of those drops of water falling on us? Yeah. Well, something similar happens here. Remember, our, our volcanic rock is so porous. That means there's lots of holes and cracks in it. Right. So when it rains, the rainwater can seep down through the rocks. Okay. Do you remember what's underneath a volcano? Uh, the magma chamber? That's right, all of that <laughs> magma, that super hot molten rock is underneath our volcano. So eventually the water seeps down so far, it gets heated up by the magma, it evaporates and it turns into steam. Wow. The steam can escape from these cracks in the earth just like this. Wow, this has been so much fun learning about volcanoes with you today. You're so knowledgeable. Well, thank you for coming and learning about volcanoes. It's so important that we work together to protect these special places. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> well, I've got to go meet some youth junior rangers over at the visitor center. Wow, cool. All right, bye, Blippi. All right, see you later. Enjoy your visit. All right, have a good day. Wow, Mount Aloha looks so big. And remember how we learned that it looks like a superhero shield laying down flat? Yeah, not all volcanoes look like this. Wow, we learned so much today. We even got to walk through a lava tube and it was so tubular. <laughs> yeah, and those steam vents, so cool. And it was pretty warm too, that steam from all that heat. Wow, and that crater, it was so big and vast. Wow, I sure did love learning about volcanoes with you. But this is the end of this video. If you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. Good job, all right, see you again, Bye bye <laughs> It's me, Blippi, and today we are here at the Royal Air Force Museum in London, England. <laughs> yeah, I am so excited because you and I get to learn about planes. Whoa, <laughs> planes are awesome. Yeah, they're things that people have built so you can fly in the sky. <laughs> hey, can you think of something else that flies in the sky? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, birds. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, I think planes are so cool because they let people fly just like birds. And today, we get to see some really awesome planes. Come on, let's take a closer look. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. This plane is so big. It's called the Short Sutherland MR5. Wow, and check it out. It has massive propellers. <laughs> yeah, two on each wing, two on one wing, and two on the other wing. Two and two means four propellers. What? <laughs> Not so many. <laughs> Whoa. And this plane is really big. Yeah, it's 30 feet tall. Oh, <laughs> and 85 feet long. <laughs> Yeah, and it has a wingspan of 112 feet. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, and do you notice anything interesting about this plane? Hmm. Yeah, it's the bottom of the plane. Hmm, it looks kind of like a boat. And do you notice the windows? <laughs> yeah, the windows are circles. And maybe you've seen those on a boat or a submarine before. <laughs> yeah. Do you know why that is? That's because this is a seaplane. <laughs> yeah. And there are two kinds of seaplanes. There are 
float planes, and flying boats. <laughs> yeah, a float plane is just a regular plane with floaties on the bottom. But a flying boat is a boat on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> it's made of metal. It's so musical. <laughs> Whoa. That is awesome. It's really important that the short Sutherland MR5 is a flying boat because it was built a long time ago. Yeah, and it would fly really far distances across the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> yeah, and there weren't a lot of places for it to land on the land, so it could just land in the water. <laughs> this is so awesome. Hey, let's go take a look inside. Come on. <laughs> Let's keep exploring! <laughs> helicopter. Hello! Whoa! <laughs> this is fun. Driving the helicopter. Whoa! <laughs> this is really cool. Oh, it's so bright and yellow. Yeah! Whoa! Look at it! Whoa! It's a real life rescue helicopter. Yeah! Whoa! It is so cool and so bright. Yeah, it's the color yellow. <laughs> yeah, and it's really important that it's a bright color like yellow. So if you need rescuing, you can see it. <laughs> Hello. Whoa, and check it out. <laughs> this looks familiar. It looks like the same kinds of floaties on a seaplane. <laughs> this is in case it needs to land, it can float in the water. <laughs> Wow! You see up there? Look! It's a really big propeller! Whoa! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! A propeller on a rescue helicopter is so strong and so fast, so it can go through any kinds of weather. If it's really windy, or really rainy, <laughs> it'll be able to make it through the storm. Oh, hmm. and what's this? <laughs> There's a duck. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Duck. Hello, Blippi. Hi, how are you today? Oh, I'm doing just fine. Just being a duck. <laughs> well, it's nice to see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, no way. It's the cockpit of the helicopter. Yeah, and you see there's a window. That window is really important because the pilot can look out and make sure the rescue is going great. <laughs> Whoa, and look over here. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. The most important part of a helicopter rescue mission. Yeah, this is the winch. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. The winch is what someone would clip onto, yeah, 
so they could drop down from the helicopter and save someone. Yeah, they just grab on tight and whoo! <laughs> up they go back into the helicopter. Whoa! <laughs> Once they were inside, there would be a doctor and maybe a snack, <laughs> so they would be nice and safe. Wow! Look at it! There's beds and lots of seats and floaty devices. <laughs> Whoa! Helicopters are awesome! <laughs> Free! Look at where we are! We're inside of a hangar! Yeah, a hangar is a place where they store all kinds of jets and airplanes. Whoa! And look at this jet! Let's go look at the cockpit! Come on! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! This is awesome! This jet is called the Tornado! <laughs> Whoa! And it goes really fast. Yeah, look at it. This right here is the cockpit. That's the place where the pilot sits to steer the plane. Ring, ring. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. There's another seat right behind the pilot. Yeah, that's where the navigator sits. And he makes sure that you're going in the right direction. <laughs> Whoa, it's so big and so cool. <laughs> hey. And look here, it has really big wings. Whoa, huh. And it looks like the wings can open up. Yeah, they open up so the plane can do different things. When they're really open, really wide, it helps the plane be nice and stable to land. But if this jet wants to go really, really fast, they close up, woo, to zoom away. <laughs> yeah, and that's really helpful because the tornado likes to fly low. Yeah, really low. Sometimes as low as a tree. Whoa! <laughs> well, we better go see some more jets. Come on! <laughs> Whoa! There are so many planes and jets here in the hangar. Yeah! Whoa, and look at the back of the tornado. Whoa, <laughs> this is where the jet engines are. Yeah, look, this one doesn't have an engine in it right now. But look, this one does. <laughs> Ooh, hello. <laughs> it's so shiny. Yeah, these jets can go so fast. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, let's go see if we can find some more. I think. This is another jet. Yeah, this jet right here is called a buccaneer. Yeah, a buccaneer. Do you know why it's called that? Hmm, I wonder why. Well, I bet it's called that because these planes take off from aircraft carriers. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what an aircraft carrier is? Yeah, they're really big boats that store lots of planes. And do you see this wing? Yeah, look. The wing, they fold, <laughs> yeah. They fold just like your arm can fold or a piece of paper, <laughs> yeah. They fold so you can fit lots of plane tight together on an aircraft carrier, yeah. And look, it has really big wheels and tires, <laughs> kind of like a car, but that helps the plane land nice and safe and roll smoothly down the runway. <laughs> Whoa. It's so big. <laughs> Ooh, I think I see another plane. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> wow, this plane is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, you see the plane hanging above me? Yeah, it's called a Harrier. <laughs> yeah, a Harrier. Whoa, it's also called a jump plane. Hmm, a jump plane? <laughs> I like to jump. Will you jump with me? Okay, let's jump like a jump plane. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that was really fun jumping together. Do you know why it's called a jump plane? Yeah, 
that's because it has really powerful engines that can change direction. Yeah. Instead of going out of the back of the airplane, they can go <coughs> under the airplane and it can take off straight up like a helicopter. <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> hey, I think I see one last plane that we should look at. Come on. Whoa, <laughs> do you see it? Hmm, do you see another plane? Hmm, I see one too. It's enormous, it's gigantic. It's the Hercules. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. It has a really big nose. Oh yeah, that's what the front of a jet or plane is called, the nose. <laughs> yeah, and this one has a really big nose. Look, it's the color black. <laughs> Hercules planes are so cool because they're so big. They're so big that they can even transport and carry people and vehicles. <laughs> Whoa, that's really big. This plane can carry cars and trucks. What? <laughs> wow, these jets are so cool. We should keep exploring. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so much fun riding in the cockpit of a plane. <laughs> uh, but this plane looks a little small. Hey, why don't you and I try to find a real cockpit? Whoa, and a really big plane. <laughs> Come on, let's keep exploring. Look at what I'm wearing! This is an actual flight jacket! <laughs> yeah! This is what a pilot would wear if they were flying in an airplane! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! And check it out! Come on! <laughs> it's one of my favorite airplanes! It's a Spitfire! <laughs> yeah! Oh look! And there's a person! Let's go say hello! <laughs> Hi, I'm Blippi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Chris. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Chris. Whoa, could you tell me a little bit about this airplane? Yeah, this is a Spitfire. Whoa. It's one of the most beautiful aircraft we have here. <laughs> Whoa, I love this Spitfire. It's so cool. And it's camouflage. Whoa, <laughs> is it green and gray on the top and bottom? Yeah, it's a little bit blue on the, on the, on the bottom. Oh, that's so cool. I bet that's so that if you're on the ground, you can't see it in the sky. That's right. Whoa, blending in. <laughs> uh, Chris, would it be okay if I got in the Spitfire? Mm, okay. <gasps> no way! We get to sit in the cockpit of a real life Spitfire? <laughs> yeah! Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Check it out! I'm in the cockpit of a Spitfire! <laughs> yeah! This is so cool! Whoa! Chris, what are all these buttons and controls? Yeah, there's so many buttons, aren't there? Yeah! So they tell you like how fast you're going, or how much fuel you have, or even where you're going. Whoa! That's so cool! It looks like there's all these different dials, and levers, and buttons. Oh, and is this the steering wheel? Yeah, it's called a spade grip. It looks a bit like a small wheel. Whoa, <laughs> spade grip. And does that turn the plane left and right? Yeah, that makes it go up and down. If you want to go left and right, you have to press those pedals at the bottom. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, there are pedals so you can move the plane left and right with your feet. <laughs> Whoa, hey, and what's this with my left hand? What's that? What do you think it is? Well, it says, oh, <laughs> I see what that says. Throttle. Wow. So that makes it go faster. Whoa, <laughs> faster and slower. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. Oh, and what's this over here do? Oh, it looks like it's connected to, to wheels. Why does it need wheels? Yeah, so if you're in the air, you can pull the lever and the wheels go up. 
Whoa, that is so cool. <laughs> I feel like I'm ready to be a pilot. <laughs> well, thanks so much for teaching me about Spitfire, Chris. <laughs> You're welcome. Enjoy the flight. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Whoa, I feel like a real life pilot. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look at what it is. It's a flight simulator. We've seen so many cool planes, and now we get to feel what it's like to fly in one. <laughs> yeah. And this simulator simulates, or makes it feel like, they're really ultra low flights. So you're in a plane really low to the ground. And we're gonna be exploring the country, Wales. <laughs> okay, let's go inside. today here at the Royal Air Force Museum in London, England. We got to see airplanes and jets and rescue helicopters. <laughs> I even got to sit in the cockpit of a Spitfire plane. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Great. Okay. B L I P-P-I, Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout Blippi. Hello, friends. It's me, Blippi. And today, we're exploring construction vehicles. Let's see. Can you guess which vehicle this is? Let's go find out. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Wow, and look at where I'm at. Yeah, today, I'm at Tenino, Washington at a job site. Yeah, and today, you and I get to learn about a machine. Yeah, a really heavy machine. It has a really big blade up front, pushes anything and everything out of its way. It has a lot of power. It's a little slow, though. And it starts with the letter B, just like my name. <laughs> Do you know what machine it is? Okay, let's go find out. Woohoo! <laughs> Check it out! Wow! A piece of construction equipment! And this is a powerful piece of construction equipment. Do you know what machine this is? Yeah! This is a bulldozer! Wow! It is so powerful. Here, come on! Whoa! This is the blade of the bulldozer. Yeah, the blade pushes anything and everything out of its way. And then it goes flat on the ground and then makes the ground nice and flat. Whoa! Whoa! And how it gets all of its power is right here. Yeah, the engine. And this is the engine compartment. Yeah, it produces a lot of power and a lot of smoke out of the exhaust. Wow! super cool. Hey, do you see these? Huh, this is silly. <laughs> yeah, there's no wheels and tires. That's silly, huh? Oh, these are called tracks. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, these metal things go down into the dirt, the gravel, the mud, so then it has really good traction, so then it doesn't slip and slide. <laughs> All right, I think I should take it for a spin. Woohoo! So comfortable. All right. First things first, safety first. Perfect. Now that I'm nice and safe with my seat belt, we can operate the bulldozer. Yeah, you operate a bulldozer. You do not drive a bulldozer. <laughs> okay, see these hand controls? This is how you operate the bulldozer. This one makes you go forward and backward, and this one, yeah, this is what you use to control the blade. <laughs> 
All right, here we go. Let's turn on the key. Woohoo! All right, flip up the safety doodads, and here we go. Whoa! Check it out! Whoa! Woohoo! All right. Whoa! was fun. <laughs> Wow, what a powerful machine. Did you see that big blade up front? Yeah, it's so good and powerful. It pushes anything and everything out of its way. Our first vehicle was a bulldozer. They are such an important piece of equipment and help clear the way. Hmm, can you guess what this next vehicle is? Let's go check it out. Let me give you some hints on what piece of machinery we're gonna learn about. Okay. It's a machine that loves to dig. Yeah! It typically has tracks. Yeah! Has an arm and a boom and a bucket. Digs big holes. And it starts with the letter E. <laughs> Can you guess it? Okay, here we go! <laughs> This excavator? Yeah, I was driving and holding this giant log. Wait, did you hear that? Yeah, an excavator. Wow, what a cool machine. This is actually a mini excavator. Yeah, they have small ones like this, and they have big ones like that. Wow. Hey, did you see I was sitting in the seat? Yeah, this is the cab of the excavator. Wow, there's so many controls in there. Oh, so cool. Hey, and look down here. Wow. Yeah, just like a bulldozer, this excavator has tracks. 
but a bulldozer's tracks are metal. And these, yeah, they're rubber, like tires. Wow, that is really cool. The cab can swing around. Yeah, did you see me swing around? Whoa, so cool. Oh, and up here, wow. It's hard to see because the bucket is right here. But this is the blade. Just like a bulldozer, this excavator has a blade to flatten things out and push things out of its way. And where this log is sitting, yeah, this is the bucket of the excavator. Wow, this bucket has some big teeth. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, and look at this. This kind of looks like a big tooth but this is actually called a thumb. Wow, the thumb is used to grab things, just like this log. Whoa, and all this, this is the arm and the boom, which then can lift up, swing around, and use the bucket to dig. Yeah, I think I should hop on in and do some digging. Woohoo! I'm an excavator, excavator, hey dirt, see you later, I'm an excavator, I've got a great big arm and a great big boom, if I start digging now I'll be done real soon, I'm a dirt separator, I'm an excavator. just dug. Wow, so cool. Hey, and look at this big pile of dirt. Wow, I love dirt. Yeah, because it's fun to play around in and it's the per perfect home for some plants. Woohoo! Here we go. Here you go, plants. Woohoo! <laughs> wow, excavators are awesome. Yeah! Wasn't that excavator so cool? I love getting to dig things up and an excavator makes it so easy and fun. Whoa! That sure was fun learning about that excavator today, wasn't it? Yeah, you can dig some massive holes with the excavator. And since it doesn't have wheels and tires, it has tracks. Yeah, you never get stuck. Yeah. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -I, Blippi. Good job. See you again. Bye-bye. Today, we're here at the New York Fire Museum in New York City, New York. <laughs> yep, New York City is a really big city with a ton of people mm -hmm. in it. And it's so loud. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. And firefighters.
firefighters have a very dangerous job of putting out fires. So they have a lot of training they have to do before they become firefighters. Whoa! Firefighters are so cool! Yeah! They're the real heroes! Mm -hmm. Yeah! <laughs> and they help put out fires and save people! <laughs> They're just awesome! They really are! Let's go in and explore! Okay, come on! <laughs> Oh, let me oh. check it out. Look, <laughs> whoa, look at these. Whoa, oh. these are fire alarms. Yeah, fire alarms are really important because it's a way you can tell firefighters there's a fire emergency. <laughs> yeah, maybe you've seen a fire alarm in the building that you live in or in a school. They're mm -hmm. usually a lot smaller than this. Really tiny. <laughs> These are so big! They're so big and they're all around the city! Yeah! In New York City, on the street, you might see one of these! Yeah! Check it out! Whoa! Lift this up and you pull this down and it sends an alarm to the fire station so that they can come and put out the fire! <laughs> yeah! And look! There's a number on it! Yep! One, one, three! Ooh! And mine has one too! Nine, three, Seven! Oh, what do those mean? <laughs> yeah! If you pull this fire alarm, this number helps the firefighters know where to go. Yeah, in the firehouse, the fire station, <laughs> a bell would ring nine times, it would ring three times, and it would ring seven times. So wow. the firefighters know where to go. <laughs> That's so cool! And you can still use these today! You can? They yeah, still work? That's right! Even though they're kind of old. <laughs> yeah, they still work! Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! And they're made out of metal! Yeah! Nice and sturdy! Yeah! This one's so pretty! Oh, it looks so old, like Rockefeller Center! You're right! So beautiful! <laughs> that's awesome! Mm -hmm. Speaking of fighting fires, I wonder what firefighters used to wear! Oh, well, I'm glad you asked because I see something over here! Come on! Oh, no way! Oh, yeah. Check it out! Whoa! Yep, see? Oh, Flippy! Hello! <laughs> Whoa, look at this! Yeah, firefighter jackets! Whoa! Oh, you should try this on, Blippi! Oh, oh, no way! It's a New York City fire helmet! Yep! Whoa! Look! These are so important because they're nice and hard! Mm-hmm! <laughs> yeah, to protect the firefighter's head! Whoa, and look! It has a number on it! Do you see? A three? And a zero! The number 30! Yeah! And look! It has this big... Looks like, kind of like a patch! Yeah. yeah! It's the color black! Yeah! Oh. I wonder why some helmets are red and some are black! Oh, yeah! Because they have different vehicles! <laughs> oh. If it's the color black, then it's a fire engine! But mm, let's say it's the color red! Then it would be a fire truck! <laughs> oh, Whoa. and a fire truck has a ladder on it, right? Yeah, that's right! And a fire engine has a really big hose! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, let's try it on! Okay. Here we go! How does it feel? Whoa! Whoa! Is it heavy? <laughs> it's so heavy! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, look! And, hmm, oh, I have goggles! <laughs> yeah, you have double protection! Yeah. Glasses and goggles! Whoa. Or a shield, I guess! <laughs> a shield! Whoa, look! It also protects my hair and my eyes from any really hot, hot fire! Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> super important! for firefighters to protect themselves when they're fighting fires. Mm -hmm. You can also wear this jacket, Flippy. Whoa. Whoa. I'm starting to look and feel like a real firefighter now. Yeah. Whoa. These Check jackets are so important because they protect you and they're made out of fireproof material. Oh, fireproof? Mm -hmm. Oh, look. Yeah, it helps so that firefighters don't get too hot when they're really close to the fire. Yeah. Fire resistant. Yeah. Oh. And this is a firefighter jacket, too! Whoa! Oops, oh, I put my arm through the wrong hole! Oh, that's okay! <laughs> there you go! Whoa, that's good! Oh, and why, why would you wear one of these jackets? Now, this you would wear if you're going to a nice event, or maybe marching in a parade! Ooh, I love parades! Yeah, me too! <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa, firefighters are awesome! Yeah! Look, <laughs> and sometimes firefighters get a little chilly, so they just need to wear a regular jacket! Yeah. So, they have jackets like this! Yeah! Whoa, and look! It has a really cool patch! Whoa! Yeah, it says City of New York! <laughs> yeah, because that's where we are! Yep! Whoa! <laughs> this is pretty cool! Yeah! Learning all about the things that firefighters need to fight fires! Yeah, let's keep exploring! I really want to find a fire truck! <laughs> <laughs> let's go!
Whoa! Whoa! Look at it! <laughs> wow! It looks like this is the very first fire engine. <laughs> That's right, and look how small it is. Yeah, you see? It's so small. Yep, <laughs> and this. Whoa! Whoa! What's this? It's a big pole? Yeah! Oh, whoa! It's so big! <laughs> yeah! Oh, hey, I think it goes up there. Oh, you're right. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, look! Oh, and I think one goes on the other side. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! You got it? I think I got it! Look! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, easy, Whoa. easy! <laughs> okay! Whoa. Whoa, check it out! Yeah! These posts would go on either side. <laughs> yeah! And two people would pump it on either side to help the fire hose work! Yep, it <laughs> took some serious teamwork! Yeah! The hose would away. connect to this part right here, and they would pump up and down it, up and down it, up and down it, up and down. <laughs> yeah! And Blippi, do you know what this is? Whoa! <laughs> no, what is that? It's so loud because it's the first fire siren. Yeah! Whoa, it's so loud. Yeah, isn't that cool? Ooh. Ooh. Can I give it a try? Yeah, of course. Okay, here we go. <laughs> fire! Woo! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, the firefighters would use this to make sure that everyone knew there's a fire. You need to be careful. Yeah. <laughs> oh, whoa, and what are oh. these buckets for? These are really sturdy, cool buckets. Yeah. Everyone in the neighborhood would have one so that they could help put out the fire. Oh, yeah. I think it was called the Bucket Brigade. That's right, the Bucket Brigade. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. put out the fire with this because back then they didn't have fire extinguishers and sometimes it was hard to get hoses around to the right spot. Yep, oh, everyone would just work together. Yeah, teamwork! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Anika, what's that over there? Whoa! Check this out! <gasps> oh, look how big this wheel is! Whoa, it's so big! It's almost as big as you! I know! Look. It's almost as big as me! <laughs> Whoa, check it out. This looks like another fire engine. Hmm. Yeah. But this one doesn't have those hand cranks. No. Or the pumps. <laughs> no. No, this looks like it used steam. Yeah. Steam? Huh. Kind of worked like a kettle. Whoa. Maybe you've seen one of these before in your Ooh. kitchen. <laughs> yeah. If you want a cup of tea, you can just boil some water and steam comes out the top. <laughs> yeah. So that's what firefighters would use to put out the fire. Steam. Yeah, steam can be very powerful. Yeah, and very hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they would make a fire to put out a fire? What? Make a fire to put out a fire? <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> Whoa. And would they use this? Yes, they would use this coal. They'd burn the coal, start a fire right in here. Whoa. So imagine that this is like a giant kettle. Yeah, <laughs> had water in here, fire down below. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it would boil, boil. <laughs> and then the steam would help to make the hose work. Yeah. Yep. It would turn all these gears and all the parts of the machinery. <laughs> yeah. And then it would make the hose work. Ooh, and look, there's a fire hose. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Check it out. This oh. is awesome. Oh, I'm going to go put up the kettle. Oh, yeah, <laughs> good idea. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, and did you know cool. that horses would pull this? Oh yeah, because back then they didn't have vehicles that could drive like today. No, they needed horses to help. That's so, right. Yeah, they yeah. would take care of them too. Oh, <laughs> look out! I think this thing's oh! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Oh! <gasps> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, look Whoa. at this! There's another fire engine. <laughs> Wow, this one's even bigger! It's Whoa. so big! <laughs> yeah, oh. they just keep getting bigger and bigger with time. Oh, Mika, huh? hmm, there's a rope here. You want to pull it? Sure, I don't see a sign saying that I can't pull it. Yeah, I Let's think see. we can do it. <laughs> what? Whoa! Did you hear that? Whoa! Whoa! That's a really loud bell! Really loud! Oh, oh. I see it up there! Yeah, you see it? Yeah! I'm gonna try. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's awesome! Yeah! Whoa. Now we have sirens, but back then they would use a loud bell so people knew that there was a fire and that a fire engine was coming through. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this! This 
fire engine doesn't look like it needed horses. Nope, it has wheels and tires, just like a modern day one. <laughs> and look, a steering wheel. Yeah. This engine actually had an engine. Whoa. Yeah, you've probably seen a steering wheel before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at this. Whoa, what's hmm. that? Well, only one way to find out. <laughs> Here we go. would tell people that there's a fire. Yeah, Ooh. now sirens sound like But not back then. No, they sounded a lot different. Yeah, <laughs> loud noises are important to let people know that something very important is happening and to be careful and get out of the way. Mm -hmm. Ooh, well, that was pretty fun <laughs> learning about all these vehicles. Hey, maybe we could see some more fire engines. Maybe even a fire truck. Yeah, oh, I hope so. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Check out this fire truck. Whoa, what kind of truck is this? Hmm, it's really big, and it looks like there are ladders on it. Yeah. Hey, this is a killer ladder truck. Yes. Yeah! Yeah! So cool. See the big ladders? Oh, it's so <laughs> big. Yeah. Why would they need ladders? So that they can climb up to the top of buildings. <laughs> yeah. And to really high places to put out the fire. Yep. That's right, and if you look behind you there, Blippi, here's an old fire extinguisher. Whoa, yeah. Fire extinguishers are definitely helpful for putting out fires, too. Yeah, <laughs> you may have one in your house, even. Yeah, or see one at school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> What's this? Here, I'll help Here you get it out. It's Whoa, really it's big and heavy. Pretty heavy. <laughs> Whoa. This is so tall. Yeah. You know what it is? This is called a six foot hook. Whoa. That's just what it is. Yeah, look, it's a little hook. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and this is really helpful for firefighters. A long time ago, yeah, because they would break a hole in maybe the ceiling, the wall, so yep. then they could put some water with the hose through the hole. Yeah, break it and then spray in the water. Yeah, it also lets the smoke rise up out of the building. Yeah, because smoke and heat rise. Sometimes right. a firefighter might need to break a window so the smoke can get out and the fire doesn't keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ooh. wow. Whoa. There, that's really cool. <laughs> it's really cool. Here, I'll help you. Whoa. <laughs> Here you go. And Mika, what's this? Oh, so this is where a driver would sit to help steer the back wheels. Yeah, this part is called the tiller. <laughs> yep, there are two drivers. Two drivers? One in the back to steer the wheels and there's one in the front with the horses. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> You know that a killer ladder truck? Yeah, it was pulled by horses. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, we don't do yeah. that anymore. <laughs> yeah, no horses today. But nope. back then, they needed horses. Mm -hmm. Whoa. An engine. Wow, look at it. It's Whoa. so big, and it's the color red. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, and look here. Yeah, this is where the engine is. Yep. Whoa, this <laughs> it's is so, so big. Cool. <gasps> and look, Flippy. A bell and a siren. Hey, yeah, we've seen a bunch of those today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is a really cool fire engine because, yeah, it didn't use steam or manpower pumping <laughs> the hose. <laughs> no, it uses gasoline. Yeah, the hose runs on gasoline. Yeah, there'd be an engine yep. it would make the hose work. Oh, that's right. And if you look at the top here, Blippi, you'll see the hose. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> yeah, that's a big, powerful one. It's really strong and a ton of water can come out of it. Whoa, yeah. There's a hose that a firefighter could hold, but if there was a fire really, really high up, <laughs> they could spray it with this giant sprayer. Whoa. <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah. Whoa. And what are these? Hmm, what are those? Hmm. Kind of hard? Wait a minute, those are nozzles. Yeah. You're so right, that goes on the end of a hose. Yeah, so you can maybe spray a wider spray of water or a really narrow spray. Yeah. <laughs> so you can do whatever you need to put out the fire. Yep, that's so smart. <gasps> hey, we should pretend to be real firefighters. Oh yeah, that sounds super oh, fun. Do you hear that? Let's go put out the fire! Okay! Do the fire! Okay! Whoa! 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 Whoa!
we learned so much about firefighters, but <laughs> we should probably return our jackets. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Wow, and firefighters have been around for so long, keeping our neighborhoods nice and safe. Yeah, they do so many things to help. <laughs> and they use a lot of equipment and gear. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Help put out those fires. Whoa, they're pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much, firefighters, for being real life heroes and keeping everyone nice and safe. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of our videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Mm -hmm. Hey. You spell my name with me? Okay, <laughs> here we go. P L I P P I. So let me. Good job. <laughs> Will you spell my name with us? Awesome. <laughs> M E E K A H. Mika. <laughs> Mika. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Bye bye. See you later. <laughs> It's me, Flippy, and today I'm here at the Postal Museum in London, England. <laughs> and I am so excited because they have play areas, postal games, and even a mail train. Woohoo! <laughs> Let's go see what it's like to be a postal worker. Come on! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! We're here in the Postal Play Place. <laughs> Whoa, this looks so fun. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> Do you see what it is? The post office. Hmm, we should go inside and see if we can help send out some mail. <laughs> Ooh. Hello. <laughs> whoa, <laughs> looks like there's a lot of packages here and a lot of letters. Well, we want to make sure all the packages can be sent out but we need to make sure they're weighed to see how heavy they are first. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> this one looks good to me. <laughs> no way, check it out. These packages are animals. Whoa, look, this package is a giraffe. <laughs> it has a really long neck. <laughs> well, this is a fun package to send. <laughs> and <gasps> no way. Do you know what kind of package this is? It's an elephant. <laughs> well, that's cool too. <laughs> a teacup? <laughs> well, that's pretty yummy. Hmm, would you like some tea too? <laughs> Blippi tea party! Woo! <laughs> well, just kidding. It's just a package shaped like a teacup. <laughs> well, I think we can find a place to deliver this letter. Yeah, hmm. keep your eyes open. <laughs> It looks like we're here in London. Well, little London. <laughs> yeah, there's all kinds of things in the city, like a house plant. <laughs> Whoa, and a comfy couch. Ooh, <laughs> look, oh, it's a red and yellow delivery truck. <laughs> oh, looks like the car wants to go to sleep. <laughs> It's so sleepy. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. A horse-drawn carriage. Yeah, it has one, two little horses. <laughs> Traffic jam. <laughs> well, let's keep looking for a place to put the letter. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. There are all kinds of blocks. Hmm. Maybe we can build a giant British castle. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> Whoa, we did it. Yeah, you see it? So big. <sighs> yeah, what happens if I accidentally <laughs> knocked it down? Uh oh. <laughs> Ooh. And since we're here in London, can't forget the red phone booth. Ooh, let's see how many we can find. One, two, nine, 10, 11, 12. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, we found 12. That is way too many phone booths. <laughs> Ooh, but good thing we still have our letter. Hmm. Hello, kitty cat. Hello. Meow, meow. <laughs> See, it's a kitty cat. <laughs> That's so cute. 
cute. <laughs> Wonder where we'll go next. <laughs> Hello, double decker bus. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> oh, no way. I think I see where we can send our letter out. <gasps> it's a post box. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. Letter away. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh look, a red hat and hmm, a red post office vest. One arm and two arms. Woo! Ready for work. <laughs> Whoa, that is a lot of mail to send. <laughs> Well, good thing we're really good at delivering mail, so this will be easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> okay, let's get all the mail. Here we go. Okay, I got all the mail, but we need to pay for it, so I'll see you on the other side of the counter. <laughs> Whoa! That is a lot of mail. <laughs> yeah, and we can ring it up right here at the register. <laughs> oh, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, well, we paid for the mail to get delivered so that the post office workers and the delivery men can get paid too. <laughs> well, now we got to deliver all of this. Here we go. Whoa, yeah, we did it. <laughs> now we just need to deliver all of these letters. <laughs> okay, <laughs> here we go. This is a lot of work, working at the post office. <laughs> but it sure is fun because I'm with you. <laughs> Wait a minute, I almost forgot. We have all the packages, letters, envelopes, but they need to be sorted before we can mail them out. <laughs> oh, well good thing, the sorting office is right over there. Oh, yeah, when we go in the sorting office, we can sort the mail! <laughs> Come on! Whoa! Now, let's deliver the letters. Ooh, I see some houses. Wait a minute, this house is really tiny. <laughs> That's because, look, it's a mouse house. <laughs> Hello. Oh, look, there's a yellow house, a red house, and an orange house. <laughs> yeah, they have some pretty colorful roots. <laughs> okay, here's your mail. One, two, three letters delivered. <laughs> Whoa, but look at this. Hmm. This is a pretty interesting looking jacket. And, oh, whoa, it's a giant sack of letters. Huh, big bag of letters and interesting jacket. <laughs> we'll have to try it on. <laughs> whoa, <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> but I wonder what this is all for. Hmm. Hi, Blippi. Oh, hi, what's your name? My name's Andy. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Andy. <laughs> well, we've been having a lot of fun today, but I've never seen a jacket like this before. So that's the sort of jacket a letter carrier would wear a long time ago. Whoa, that's so cool. <laughs> well, I love delivering letters. <laughs> and maybe we can pretend to be a letter carrier from a really long time ago with our bag of letters <laughs> and our cool jacket. <laughs> well, do you think we could deliver some more letters? We have a challenge for you. A challenge? A postal challenge. Whoa, that sounds like fun. <laughs> We'd like you to deliver these three letters into three different post boxes around the museum. Oh, that sounds really fun. Well, we found some post boxes. I bet we can find some more. <laughs> Here you go. Okay. Oh, a real challenge. Postal challenge. <laughs> well, thanks, Andy. No problem. Good okay. luck. <laughs> See you soon. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I just can't wait to deliver these letters. <laughs> and I love the mail. But 
you see where we are? <laughs> yeah, we're in a tunnel. Whoa, <laughs> this tunnel, there used to be trains. <laughs> I love trains. <laughs> yeah, all kinds. Diesel trains, electric trains, and steam trains. Choo choo. <laughs> yeah, and this is the train depot. Yeah, that's where trains would come to get fixed up. <laughs> yeah, if they were broken or just needed a tune-up, they could come here to get all fixed. <laughs> Whoa, and I think I see a train over here. <laughs> Let's go. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> it's a train. It's a red train, but it looks kind of small. Hmm. <laughs> That's right. That's because this train track used to have mail trains. Oh, yeah. Mail trains were trains that helped deliver the mail, letters, and packages, too. <laughs> yeah, and this track used to go from Paddington all the way to Whitechapel in London. Ooh. <laughs> and it would help the letters and whatever mail needed to get delivered get delivered more easily. <laughs> Choo -choo. <laughs> hmm. But wait a minute, mail trains didn't have any seats for people. Yeah, that's because the mail trains were filled with mail. <laughs> but it looks like this train has chairs and seats. Whoa. Well, we need to deliver some letters. Maybe this train can help us deliver them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and do you see this right here? <laughs> it's a really big battery. So I bet this train goes really fast. <laughs> yeah, they used to be electric, but now battery power. <laughs> okay, let's get in the train. Can't wait to deliver these letters. Whoa, we're in the train. Well, it's so small in here. I can put my letters there and <laughs> squeeze in right here. <laughs> Whoa, this is so fun. Yeah, traveling in a train underground. Woo! <laughs> Look at it. It's so old here. <laughs> I can't wait to deliver the letter. <laughs> Whoa, it's getting really dark. Yeah, the ceiling is so low because we're in a really tiny train. <laughs> Yeah, we can imagine that we are a package or maybe a letter from a really long time ago. <laughs> this is fun being male. Ooh, I think I see something up ahead. <laughs> We made it to a platform. <laughs> Let's get out and deliver the letter. <laughs> Whoa, that was so much fun riding on the train. <laughs> and look at where we are. We're here at the mail station. This is where the mail trains get all their packages and mail. <laughs> Woo this place is awesome. Check it out. <laughs> These are the mail train tracks. Yeah, this is the tracks that the mail trains would deliver the mail on. <laughs> They're so small. Well, that's because the mail train is really small too. <laughs> and you see this part? Yeah, the tracks cross. Yeah, they make little X shapes. <laughs> that's because the mail trains sometimes need to change directions. So it's easy for the operator to move the trains around. <laughs> no way! An actual 1920s mail conveyor belt! <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Yeah, the mail station is underneath the mail sorting area. Yeah, it's kind of where they would sort all the mail and letters and things so that people would get the right letters. <laughs> yeah, it would go on this conveyor belt right here. Oh, check it out. <laughs> this is where the mail chute is. The letters would go down the chute, over the conveyor belt, onto the trolley, <laughs> and then onto the mail train. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> We've been trying to deliver a letter 
And look at what it is. It's a post box. <laughs> yeah, now we can deliver the first letter. <laughs> first letter, it says, hello from London. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Whoa, oh, hi Andy. Hi Blippi. <laughs> Whoa, check it out, a red and green car. Well, Andy, what's this? This is our pneumatic train game. What you do is you turn the handle, that powers the fan, and then the air pushes the car up the tube. Whoa, that's amazing. So these are air powered? Yeah, these are powered by air. Whoa. Pneumatic is the word for that. Pneumatic? Whoa, that's a pretty funny looking word. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Andy, there's a red car right here and a green car right here. One for you and one for me. Do you think we can race? We can have a competition. Okay, <laughs> shall we start? Are you ready? One, two, three, race! Whoa, Andy, you won! Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, you're really good at this. <laughs> well, it's really fun to play with some toy cars in a pneumatic tube, but I see this big picture here. It has a really big pneumatic tube. What's this? So this is a small version of a real life version they built on the banks of the River Thames in London a long time ago. Whoa. And it was designed to carry mail before the mail route. No way. So these little cars, they weren't for people, they were just for mail? Just for mail. But this version could uh, uh, occasionally carry people. Whoa, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, we just rode the mail train. <laughs> but I guess before there was a train, they used these tubes, right? Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty amazing. Well, Andy, it was so fun racing you with our pneumatic tube cars. <laughs> but I have some more letters to deliver. Well, thanks again so much. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Woo, let's go deliver some mail. Bye. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We're here in a traveling post office. Yeah, this was a train car on a big train. It's kind of like the mail rail, but it's not as small. <laughs> Yeah, and you see right here, this is where a post office worker might sort all the different mail. <laughs> and look, there are letters right here. Ooh, this one has an airplane on it. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. This one has a car. Honk, honk. <laughs> hmm. And this one has a little puppy dog. <laughs> Oh, hey, I think it's a game. I think we need to sort all these letters into the right spots. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Puppy dog and puppy dog. <laughs> car and car and airplane and airplane. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, whoa, look, do you see it? The floor is moving. <laughs> I bet it was really tricky being a traveling post office worker. Yeah, because the floor would move so fast and the train would go so fast and it would also be kind of noisy too. <laughs> oh, well, that reminds me, we have another letter to deliver. Hmm. Well, maybe we can put it in a post box. Ooh, I see one over here. <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. Whoa. <laughs> I think we need to get off this train. It's so bumpy. <laughs> Whoa, I'm having so much fun delivering all these letters. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out, tubes. <laughs> hmm, but these aren't just any tubes. These are pneumatic tubes. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, pneumatic means anything that uses air. Yeah, and a pneumatic tube used to help deliver the mail. <laughs> yeah, it used air kind of like a vacuum. At the end of the tube, a motor sucked out all the air and then the mail would shoot through the tube. <laughs> yeah, it would travel in one of these canisters. Ooh, and it looks like someone wrote a letter already. <laughs> it says, hi. Ooh, I bet Andy wrote this letter. <laughs> Hey, maybe we can send it back to Andy and say, hello. <laughs> okay, let's try. Yeah, 
You open up the tube here, put in the canister, and... Whoa! Did you see that? <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and look! Whoa, it's gone! <laughs> hmm, that's pretty fun. It's a pretty amazing way for mail to travel. Ooh, but wait a minute, I have an idea. What if we wrote a letter to Mika and sent it through the pneumatic tube? <laughs> okay, let's try it. First, we just need a piece of paper and an envelope, a pen, ooh, and a tube. Oh, a canister for the tube. <laughs> okay, hmm, what should we write? Dear Mika, ooh, I hope you are having a great day. <laughs> I am having so much fun in London at the Postal Museum. <laughs> hmm, I hope to see you soon. <laughs> Your best friend, <laughs> Bolippy. <laughs> okay, then we just need to fold this up <laughs> and we'll put it in this envelope. Then we can put the envelope in the canister. Just open it up, put it in there. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> now we can send it to Mika. Hello, Mika, here you go. <laughs> Whoa, it worked! <laughs> That's gonna be a really long trip to Mika. <laughs> well, anyway, we have some more letters to deliver. Okay, <laughs> let's go see if we can find another post box. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> hey, there's one right here. And good thing we have oh, <laughs> our last letter. Yeah, letter number three. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, we did it. That was awesome! I had so much fun delivering letters, playing games, and learning what it's like to be a postal worker here at the Postal Museum! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, <laughs> ready? B-L-I P-P-I! Blippi, good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>